we are aware of different rules of congruency such as ASA, SAS and SSS. Let's learn about another rule of congruency, the RHS rule of congruency. The statement of RHS rule of congruency is, if in two right triangles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Let's understand the statement of RHS rule of congruency with the help of this figure. Here we have two right angle triangles, triangle ABC and right triangle PQR. For these two triangles to be congruent by RHS rule of congruency, the necessary conditions are both triangles should be right angled triangles and here we can see that both triangles are right angled triangles. Second condition is corresponding hypotenuses should be equal. So here we can see that corresponding hypotenuses AC and RP are equal. And the third condition is one of the corresponding sides must be equal. So here we can see that AB is equal to PQ. So these three conditions are being satisfied. So we can say that these two triangles that means triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent by RHS rule of congruency. Let's take an example and see whether right triangle ABC and right triangle PQR are congruent by RHS rule or not. So looking at these two triangles, our first condition is that the two triangles should be right angles. So in this case, these two triangles are right angle triangles we can see. Corresponding hypotenuses are equal as AC is given to be equal to PR and one of the corresponding sides is also equal we can see here that AB is equal to PQ so all the three conditions of RHS rule of congruency are being fulfilled here so here we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by RHS congruency rule now let's discuss what is the need of RHS rule of congruency we can see here in triangles ABC and PQR right angle is not the angle included between the given sides so we cannot use SAS here. That is why we need RHS rule of congruency for proving these two triangles as congruent. Let's see a simple proof of RHS rule of congruency. By application of Pythagoras theorem in right triangle ABC, we'll have BC square is equal to AC squared minus AB square and in right triangle PQR we have QR square is equal to PR squared minus PQ square but we know that AC is equal to PR this is given and AB is equal to PQ this is also given this will imply that BC is equal to QR. So what we have proved by application of Pythagoras theorem is that the third pair of sides is also equal. Now we can see that in these two triangles that is triangle ABC and triangle PQR all three corresponding pairs of sides are equal so we can say therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by SSS congruency rule
So we have proved that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. This is the proof for RHS rule of congruency. Let's summarize what we have done here. We had two right angled triangles. In the two right angled triangles, the two corresponding hypotenuses were equal. In the two triangles, one of the corresponding pairs of sides was equal. We proved the two triangles as congruent by RHS rule of congruency. In RHS rule, R stands for right angle, H stands for hypotenuse and S stands for side. By this rule, we prove the triangles as congruent.